All right, how's everyone doing tonight? Wanted to talk a little bit tonight about different systems for routing the control lines when your slider's down. I uh, got a couple of requests. This one came from Pato in Australia. Hey Pato, hope you're watching this video because you wanted it. I wanted to talk a little bit about different ways that people route the control lines when their slider down, whether they go through the slider grommet, whether they go through the keeper rings, whether they go through none, whether they go through both. I want to talk about all four of those or five possible variations. What I recommend, what I've seen people do, some reasons why people do different ones. This will probably be a couple of different videos and I'll talk about each of those variations independently so you can think about what you want to do. All right, I want to talk a little bit about the variation in how you rig the canopy's control lines when you're going slider down. There's a lot of different variables here and a lot of people make different choices. I'm going to say quickly that you have to decide for yourself, okay? God did not come down out of heaven and tell me the answer to this problem. You got to decide for yourself what you want to do. And there are good thinking, knowledgeable jumpers who've made different decisions about how to configure their canopy. You're going to have to decide for yourself. I'm going to show you probably over the course of several videos, four or five different methods and discuss pros and cons of each one. Here's the first one. This is what I think of as the traditional slider down method. Slider is down. It's riding above the bumpers on the rear risers. Also could be done with the slider removed completely. And the control lines are completely free. Control line does not pass through the slider grommet. Control line does not pass through the keeper ring. That's true, obviously, on both sides. This is the traditional method because it's the fastest way to configure the can, or it's the fastest to clear a line over if you have the canopy configured this way. This was the method that was very dominant back when tailgates didn't yet exist and line overs were fairly common. When I was young, back when we had to walk to the object uphill both ways in the snow, line overs happened probably every 100 jumps because uh, tailgates were not widespread. Fortunately, that problem was fixed, but this is still the dominant method in case you do have a line over. Line overs are very uncommon now, probably one in 10,000, but this method allows you to just take the toggle, throw it forward and out at a 45 degree angle as hard as you can, and clear a potential line over malfunction when slider down. Disadvantage of this method is that if you fumble and drop the toggle, there is no way you are getting it back. So if you grab for the toggle, fumble it off, now you're stuck flying on risers, potentially with a lot of tail deflection on that side. That means that this method is pretty good if you're worried about the line over malfunction, your landing skills are good, and your landing area is not terrible. This method can be a leg breaker if you have a line over or don't have a line over and fumble a toggle and you have a very tight technical landing area. 